Ladies and gentlemen, SuckItUpUSA.com presents Suck It Up MMA Live. No excuses, no quit. With your hosts, positioned firmly in front of the control board and out of the red corner, Tom McManus! Across the desk and out of the blue corner, Larry the Professor Sheely! Get to our guest on MMA Live. His name is Brendan Tierney. He's a middle white, middleweight, eight and three, fights out of the Arizona Combat Sports Club, and we welcome him to MMA Live with the Professor Larry Sheely and Tom McMahon is here on the Suck It Up Radio Network at SuckItUpUSA.com. Brendan, are you there? I am. How are you? Hey, we're doing great, Brendan. Thanks for joining us, buddy. How you doing? I'm doing great. It's a great day. I'm happy to be here. How's Arizona treating you? Hot. It's beautiful out today. We just uh, just got done with a run and a little bike, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm actually headed out there Thursday to Phoenix and then Sedona to Monday. So uh, looking forward to spending some time out there with my wife. Little little trip. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we get the humidity here, and we know what it's like to deal with that. But different kind of heat out there in Arizona. Totally different. I'd much rather be here than there. It's gross out there. <laughs> it's gross. Yeah, it's tough to breathe, isn't it, Brendan? Yeah. Tough to breathe. You know, we, Larry and I were talking, the professor here, about, you know, you, you fight at 185, the middleweight class. You you walk. What do, what do you walk at, Brendan, typically? Actually, uh, right now, I'm, I've been fighting at 170 for my, my, oh. uh, my past three fights. I've okay. got the middleweight belt with the World Fighting Federation and and most of my fights uh, are at 185, but uh, I'm just not big enough for those guys. Those guys are huge. And when it when you say that, so they may weigh in at 185, but come fight time, what what are they tipping the scales at typically? Uh, I mean, if they're not if they're not 200, I'm shocked. But some of the guys are even more than that, 210. Right. Which I don't know how the hell they do it, but it's uh, it's it's pretty phenomenal. That is. So you're you're better. Suited, you're more comfortable at, at at the 170 weight class. I think I'm a I'm a pretty big guy at 170. You know, I uh, I cut from about 195. Wow. Um, and uh, and I I make 170. It's not fun, but I make it. You know, my uh, my last fight at 170, I weighed in at 168.5. Jeez. Um, and uh, that was a short notice fight. Um, I took that on about two weeks notice. Uh, it didn't go as well as I planned. It was a title fight. It went five rounds, but. Uh, it was pretty bad, but either way, um, it was you know it's not so bad cutting from from one ninety five. Uh, you know, any heavier than that, I think it'd be miserable. Let me ask you by this: the time, by the time I fought, I was about one eighty five, one ninety okay. somewhere in there. Okay. Let me ask you this, Brendan. This is uh, Larry Sheely. Uh, when you cut like that, how do you feel? Like, do you, is it mentally? Are you thinking when you go in the fight? You know, hope hope I'm okay from this cut. Um, do you feel different from one fight to another with the cut? How do you get used to that? And let kind of give me the your mindset going into the fight after having to cut, you know, a significant amount of weight. How do you? Um, yeah, I mean, I yeah. it, if you just kind of keep everything in perspective and realize what you're doing, what he's doing, we're all doing the same kind of thing. You know what I mean? And if if as long as I keep my mind in the right place and and knowing what I have to do and knowing that I've done everything right and feel like I've I've made the sacrifices that I need, needed to make. I've done all the things that I needed to do in order to be where I need to be. Everything works out good. You know, when, when you don't prepare properly and you don't do the right things, you know, in my opinion, you don't deserve to win, and, and that, that's, that's leveling in your head before that fight comes. So, How does it feel, uh, Brennan, when you, you make weight and then you put it back on 20? I mean, do you, how, do you, how do you feel? And one thing we, I was asking Larry, do does, does your does your quickness and speed? I mean, I'm a former football player. If I gained 20 pounds or lost 20, it would it would affect me physically so much out on the field. But how about for you inside the octagon of the ring? I mean, does your hand speed stay the same? Do, uh, do you get more fatigued at one you know 85, 190? You know when you 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 know whatever weight you end up being when fight time comes. What goes through your body and you know, your performance when you've, you've cut the weight, now you bring it back in a short period of time. I think that, you know, when I'm heavy, I feel like I'm slower. Um, when I'm lighter, you know, I, I, obviously I feel like I'm faster and, and yep. things kind of come together well. But 
Um, Seth Brzezinski, one of my training partners, uh, made, a, made a good point. Um, you know, a lot of the guys, they IV after they cut weight. They get all that water back into them. And he said that, uh, you know, a lot of people he's spoken to, it, it makes them feel very sluggish. Yeah. You know, they, they basically put too much weight on too fast. And just like you're saying, you, you kind of get a little slower. And, um, you know, and I think that, you know, being right at 190, I don't like to get much more than 190, mm-hmm. than 170, because exactly what you say, uh, you know, you, you start to you get a little slow. You don't have as much pop. You don't have as much spring in your step type of thing. Yeah, it seems like with an, an IV, you'd be taking a leak every 30 <laughs> seconds, too. I mean, yeah, that's, get, that's pretty much what happens. <laughs> right? I mean, you, you know, it goes in. you gotta got to get it out. Eight and three. Brennan Tierney here is our guest. A uh, one hundred and seventy pound fighter, and uh, what, what's next for you, Brendan? What, what do you got next? I got a, a huge fight with uh, the World Fighting Federation. It's for the one hundred and seventy pound title. Nice it's at uh, Salt River Field here in, in Scottsdale, Arizona. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, yeah, like I said, May twelfth. I'm I'm super excited about it. I love fighting for the World Fighting Federation. It's uh, it's honestly one of the best shows I've ever fought for. Um, you know, Tom Ortiz and Al Fuentes, they put on oh, a yeah. phenomenal yeah. show. Absolutely. What now? How long you been fighting for? Um, I had my first fight with them in October 2010. Okay. Um, and uh, you know, I had some uh, some. Uh, I, I, this will be my second fight with them, and it's fantastic because I'm ended up fighting for the title here again. That's great. So, uh, I'm amped up about it. Yeah, absolutely. As you as you should be. Um, and who who are you fighting? Uh, his name is. Uh, oh God. <laughs> uh, Billy Cologne. Uh, Billy Cologne. That's okay. His name. Okay. What, what does he bring to the table? Um, I think uh, he seems like a submission guy. You know, maybe maybe a little bit of a wrestler. Um, uh, you know, I, I don't think he's he's got much in the way of striking. I could be wrong. You know, I'm, honestly, I'm I'm going in there preparing for him to be the best at everything. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. I definitely don't want to discount him in any way. I want to go in there expecting to fight the best guy I've ever fought. You know, this is a very important fight for me. I, I, uh, I I'm not, I'm not uh, taking anything away from anybody. I'm giving everything I've got, and I expect him to do the same. And, and uh, I think we're going to have a fantastic fight. Very good, Brendan. Now, I see a lot of your wins have come by submission. Are is your background wrestling? Uh, being uh, knowing uh, Tom Ortiz, I'm, I'm guessing wrestling. Am I right or wrong there? No, you're, you're wrong. Actually, oh man. <laughs> um, my uh, my wrestling is probably my weakest point, but uh, I've been uh, I've been working real hard. I'm I, I heard you say earlier I was with Arizona Combat Sports. I'm no longer with them. Um, I'm actually with uh, with Power MMA and Fitness, which is uh, Ryan Bader, CB Dalloway, Aaron Simpson. Well, your wrestling should be getting good uh, quick, Zimby. then. What's I said? Oh, that? I'm sorry. Training with those guys, your wrestling should be getting good very quickly. That's the game, you know. I'm in the right place. I swear. I'm surrounded by the best possible people I could be surrounded by. You know, uh, all my weakest points are being challenged and, and improved on, and uh, and I really feel like, uh, you know, I'm 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 in the right place. Everything Good. is just perfect. Good for, for you. Good. Now, uh, Brendan, what got you into fighting? Um, <laughs> it's funny. I met a guy, uh, kind of an icon of the sport. I don't want to mention his name, but. Um, you know, I met him out one night uh, in San Diego, and I was in the Navy. And uh, my girlfriend and I, and his girlfriend and, and him, we hit it off pretty good, and we ended up kind of hanging out and partying a little bit. And he kept inviting me into his gym to go train, and uh, I was not real, not real interested in. It. I had seen uh, an ult- you know, a UFC a few years earlier, and I was not attracted to it at all. It looked pretty brutal. It looked kind of silly to me. Uh, but, you know, I got in there, did a, did a boxing class, and, uh, and kind of got hooked. Later, I ended up uh, running into a guy named Steve Bruno, who's, uh, who's actually out in Florida. He's with American Top Team out there. Mm-hmm. And uh, he introduced me to a guy named Charlie Kohler in San Diego who got me, uh, got me training in jiu-jitsu. And uh, literally my first time at jiu-jitsu, Charlie's probably about 165 pounds at the time, and I was about 210 at the time. And uh, I expected I'd go in there and roll everybody up. And he put me in a body lock and choked me out. I thought I was going to throw up. That was the best thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> Nasty, <laughs> yeah. That's a great equalizer, uh, jujitsu, is, isn't it? Unbelievable. I love <laughs> it. It's, uh, it's definitely what, what hooked me into the sport. 
That is great. Hey, Brennan, by the way, you call SureDog.com and tell them to get your info straight, man. They got it. They got <laughs> your, uh, your old info. trying to work that out. My okay. manager sent them a couple of emails. I guess I'll have to get on them and make that happen. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. No, not a problem. Not a problem. Thanks for correcting us. Talk about um, your your diet when you're cutting weight. Can you take us through a day of, of what goes uh, you know into the body and – and how you maintain that, and 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 your your training. Are you one of these guys that uh, you know tries to get seven rounds in for a you know a big fight, or five rounds in where you can go no problem? Talk about the training and talk about your nutrition, uh, especially as you get ready for a big fight. Um, my nutrition is a huge factor. Um, I, I never really paid much attention to it, but you know I'm I'm not a kid anymore. And uh, I got to take advantage of every opportunity that I can. And, and realistically, the things that you put in your body have more impact on you than, than the things that you do to your body. And I try to stay pretty strict on that. I, I follow, uh, you know, if you're familiar with the blood type diet, mm-hmm. I follow that, that uh, and I'm typo, uh, typo positive, so I follow that, that typo blood type. And uh, from what I understand, that's pretty much the best diet for most people. Um, and uh, I'm pretty strict on it. I don't do any dairy. I don't... Uh, I really cut out wheat products and, and oat products and all that kind of thing. I stay pretty strict to it. Uh, my, okay. my diet mainly consists of brown rice and chicken and turkey and, um, you know, roast beef, um, broccoli, spinach, um, pineapples, blueberries, uh, bananas, almond milk. Uh, that that uh-huh. uh, that's about the longest pretty, short pretty of my clean, diet. Yeah, pretty clean, pretty clean eating geez. there, man. You know, and I've heard of that the the blood type diet mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it. I don't know if diet's the right word, but uh, that type of nutrition. I've heard of that. It's very. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, you got to eat what your body optimizes the best, right, Brennan? It totally does. And you know, you think about it. You know, um, everybody says, "Well, this is good for you, and this is good for you, and this is good for you." And how can all these things be good for everybody? You know what I mean? Right. And so that blood type diet, to me, kind of filters people out in a different way and makes it so it's a little more segregated, a little bit more specific for each person. Brandon, what's the goal for you uh, long term, bud? What, what's your What's your dream? Uh, my My dream is to continue fighting as long as I can, and obviously, I want to be in the UFC. Um, you know, I, I feel like that's uh, that's where the best fighters are, and I, I just love the fight. You know what I mean? It's It's really, you know, obviously, I fight to win. Uh, but the reality is, um, I love fighting. I, I want to go to war whenever I fight. I want to, you know, it's not about me going in there and beating somebody up. I want, I want to be challenged. I want to be tested. I want to, I want to have to think through a problem and figure out a, a solution. And Larry, I saw, a, uh, I saw, a, you know, you've got that that thing on your Facebook, the uh, the Hoist Gracie quote, right, uh, right, being, being in a bad situation and and um, um, you know and, and and figuring out how to how to get out of it, and I love that. That's exactly why I do this. That's awesome, man. Problem solving at its finest, Brendan. Absolutely. <laughs> Troubleshooting to the highest degree. <laughs> Troubleshooting while you're getting punched in the face. Yeah, that, right. That's fun. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Isn't that great? That is fantastic stuff. Well, we've had a lot of uh, MMA fighters, trainers, managers, even TV producers on this show, Brendan. You guys... You fit what we're all about here at Suck It Up. Our tagline is no excuses, no quit. It's all on you to get it done. And, and you said it earlier, you got to earn it in there every single time. And and I think, uh, you know, whether we're fighting in the ring or we're living life every single day, I, I think we got to earn it every single time, just like you guys do. I, I agree 100%. And, and frankly, I, I think that mixed martial arts, however you want to put it, is the closest thing to life as you could put it, you know, yeah. you practice to get better at things, you work hard, and you're going you're gonna to get what you want out of it, and you focus on your dreams, and it's going to happen. you got to stay positive and push for what you want. That's what's going to happen. God bless you, man. Great message, Brendan. Wish you nothing but the best of luck. Uh, what would you say, May 12th, May 8th? What, what did you say? What date? Yes, sir, May 12th. May 12th, the Salt River Field, the World Fighting Federation here in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's going to be a great night. I'm real excited about it. Well, we're uh, we're uh, uh, excited for you, and wish you nothing but the best, and uh, in your quest for uh, for another championship, bud. Thank you so much. I really uh, had a great time on the show. You guys are fantastic. Thank you. Again. Yeah, thank you, Thanks, Brendan. Brendan. Brendan Tierney, getting ready to uh, go after another belt. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. All right. 
You too. Thanks a lot. All right. Take care, Beautiful. Ray. There you Take go. Care, guys. All the way from Scottsdale, Arizona. This has been a production of SuckItUpUSA.com and EIGProductions.com. Heard exclusively on the Suck It Up Radio Network.